it's Pelle here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the blue grunge aesthetic in After Effects. I hope you guys liked the preview, I got a little bit of inspiration from Pinterest as usual and uh, yeah I wanted to create a After Effects version of that effect basically and uh, yeah that's where we are now. And if you guys don't know I have a website called editingvisuals.com where we have a lot of editing packs that's going to help you out in your editing. But now let's get into the tutorial. So here I'm in After Effects, I have added a footage I'm going to be showcasing the effect on. And this is my clip here I'm going to be using. So what we're going to be doing is, as usual <laughs> at this point, uh, make a adjustment layer. And we do that by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And this first effect we're going to be adding is called Curves. And now just because we want to create the blue uh, kind of look to this, I'm going to choose blue here on channel. You guys can choose red, green, or RGB, mess around to get a, another color if you guys want to do that as well. But for this tutorial I'm going to use blue. And I'm going to drag this one up like this. This one to something like this. And then this one to something like this. This is the look you guys want to have for your curves effect. And it's going to make the blue tones pop out a lot more in the footage you guys have. After that is done, you're going to be adding the noise effect. And here I'm going to be increasing the noise to 65%. 60-70% there is a good amount, I think. And this is how it looks now. This already looks pretty cool, actually. But I want to drag down the quality even more now. So I'm going to be adding an effect called JPEG Damage. And this effect is from the Sapphire plugin, if you guys wondering why it doesn't pop up. So I'm using this basically to make the grunge, the low resolution quality more realistic and uh, but you guys don't need to use this, there's other effects to make it low resolution. Mosaic for example, we're going to be adding that later in the tutorial. But now for the JPEG damage I'm going to be dragging down the quality to 0.25 or dragging up actually. <laughs> After that go to res factor and then change it to 2. So this is how it looks now. Very cool in my opinion. And if you guys like the grunge effects, grunge aesthetic, I've actually made a grunge preset pack. And the effects I'm going to be showcasing for you now is a updated version of the grunge preset pack, which when I'm recording this now, it's not updated yet, but it's going to be updated in the upcoming weeks. So I'm going to be adding an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. Adjustment layer there. And for this effect, I also want to have it full screen, so you guys can see this music video, it has black bars on the side. So I'm going to be increasing it to 122%, so it becomes full screen. After that, on the adjustment layer, you're going to go to Animation, User Presets, Grunge Presets. And here I'm going to be using the Edgy Sapphire Grunge. And this is how the Edgy Sapphire Grunge looks like now. Pretty, really cool in my opinion and uh, yeah i'm excited to update the grunge preset pack you guys can of course buy it now and then in a couple of weeks you guys are going to be getting a new link with all of these effects here so you guys can yeah both get the old presets and the new presets pretty good deal in my opinion and uh, if you guys want to check this pack out it's going to be available on editingvisuals.com and I'm also going to be giving you guys a discount code for the pack it's going to be pelle if you use that code you guys will save five dollars so yeah, pretty cool effects in my opinion. If you guys like the grunge aesthetic, this pack is perfect for you. And now let's get back to the tutorial. So after the JPEG damage effect, we're going to be adding quad tone. And this is also a sapphire effect here. And here you guys can be changing the colors for the quad tone effect. And for the color two, we're going to be dragging it to a very light blue, something like this. And for the color one, we're going to be dragging it to a First blue and then make it a little bit darker. You gotta test it out a little bit. And then you guys can, you know, adjust if you think this is maybe too blue, you want it to be a little bit more white, you guys can go to the color two again, make it a little bit more brighter like that. And after that, I'm gonna be adding mosaic. So this effect is basically going to uh, drag down the resolution of your footage. And uh, yeah, I'm going to set the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks to 400. And this is how your effect is going to look very very grungy very very cool in my opinion so yeah now we are done with the effect here very satisfied and if you guys want to save this now as a preset you guys can just go to the adjustment layer see all the effects here press ctrl a to mark them go to animation save animation preset 
I'm going to save it here in tutorial presets. Name it blue grunge effect. And your preset will be saved so you can use it for another time. And uh, yeah, that was basically it for this tutorial. If you guys liked the tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, editingvisuals.com. Also, don't forget to check out the grunge presets I showed you guys in the tutorial. You guys can use code pellet to save $5. Don't forget to check out our socials, join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, and have a nice day.